this is my brave represents the average everyday person. Um, and mental health challenges are everywhere. We all face them at some point in our life. And the, if you don't talk about it, then you don't know and you don't realize that you really can get help. And when you watch these people speak and hear their stories, you relate to them, you see, that's me, that's someone I know. This is, this is how everyone is feeling. It's not different and strange, it's reality. More people need to know about This Is My Brave because uh, we need to give uh, those who are living successfully with mental illnesses a voice and we need to help people recognize that we are living among you. One in four Americans have a mental illness. I'm living with a mental illness and we are your neighbors, we are your loved ones, we are your friends, we are your dentists, we are your gardeners and there's no shame in that. You know, having a mental illness isn't a character flaw. It isn't a sign of weakness. It's an illness like uh, every other kind of illness that needs to be treated. And This Is My Brave gives a way of having a conversation about that. And I think I always say, what thrives in the dark dies in the light. We need to bring this conversation out into the light so that there isn't shame around mental illness anymore. My favorite piece was the husband and wife piece. I think for me personally, I have friends and family members that have struggled with things and I think that was the piece that I was able to connect with best. Um, I think this is a topic that can unite people and bring a lot of really great positive things and connection, you know, through the hardship that we all go through. And I think that was the one that clearly it was a way for them to heal together and have a really powerful shared experience. I think mental health and mental health issues is something that needs to be discussed more broadly. I think the more it can be personal, hopefully helps other folks open up and elevate mental health as a topic to be discussed more broadly. You identify something with everybody, either your own experience, uh, experience of a loved one, stories you've heard, but you, you get it. You get how vast this problem is and how we should all be talking about this openly, easily, because it's real, it's everywhere. No one is not touched by mental illness. And that's the message I know McLean Hospital is trying to spread and that I try to spread just in my day-to-day -day life and my work, that we have to be very loud and vocal about this and realize there's nothing shameful about it. It's brave now. It shouldn't have to be brave, and hopefully that that's what's gonna happen because of this, that it isn't brave, it's just, oh yeah, you too, okay, let's talk about it. That's what we want, right? This is great. So for me, mental illness wasn't the end. It was an entirely new beginning. But most importantly, I am here. I am me, and that is the greatest accomplishment I can ever have. Thank you. I am proud of the road I have walked to get here. I am grateful to the amazing souls in my world who have walked this road alongside me. I am blessed to be alive. Every day isn't easy, but I can promise you that every day is worth it. And it is an incredibly brave thing to do. We shouldn't have to be brave to do this. We should just be able to talk about it. I hope this only gets bigger and bigger and spreads throughout the country and the world. It would be wonderful.